So here we are in the elevator at the HR McMillan Space Center. You might wonder what exactly we're doing in here. Well, it, it's an actual idea for getting into space. I know you're thinking elevator space might be a bit crazy, but it's not as far-fetched as you might think. An elevator just like this, starting on the main floor, which would be Earth, and when you get to the top, going down. you're out in space. So, an elevator. As I mentioned, crazy idea? Nah, maybe not. We have uh, uh, the idea for a space elevator. It's an elevator that goes from Earth all the way out into space. And what that would look like would be an elevator situated at the equator. And it would stretch out about 36,000 kilometers all the way out into space. Now, the material would be made out of something brand new called a carbon nanotube, which is a really neat new technology that for the first time we have the ability to construct this. The idea for this has been around for a long time. Science fiction writers wrote about a space elevator 50, 60 years ago. But what the idea behind it is, is the spinning speed of the Earth. So the Earth is spinning all the time, which is great. We can use that free speed to get into space. Much like the game of Crack the Whip, if you're skating around in circles, the person at the end ends up going a lot faster to keep up with the person in the middle. Same idea here. This cable would have a end weight at the end to keep it nice and taut. If you think about a yo-yo at the end of a, a string, that weight keeps it really nice and straight. Same idea here. And for the first time, we'd have a, a, a way of getting into space that would allow regular people. So not just astronauts, not just the extremely wealthy, but regular people like you and me have a chance to get up there. If you want to learn more about our space elevator and other renewable forms of space uh, power, come down and visit us at the HR McMillan Space Center. Have a ride in our elevator, and uh, you can check out what the future of elevators might look like. For The Express, I'm Cam Cronin.